Alright, what we have here is a 1950 5 horsepower TN26. It's one of the restores I'm doing, restore number 101 for Buddy. And I got a problem. It's a common problem with this type of carburetor. Uh, the problem is that the fuel, there's a cork float and a rod needle valley comes up through this hole and it leaks. It starts off, runs great, and then the seat down here in the needle valve must not be seating properly and the fuel starts overflowing and it dies out. So I got a problem with the carburetor. This is the third motor with this type of carburetor I do that's got the same problem. I gave up on the other two, but I've decided I'm going to fix this problem. It's going to be one of three things. It's going to be either the seat of that needle valve down here, it's going to be a bad cork, or it's going to be a problem with the needle valve coming up through this hole and not being able to, for some reason, it's not seating and stopping the flow of fuel. So I'm going to open the fuel line and we'll see the needle valve come up through that opening. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Well, that may be the problem. I don't see it rising up and coming through there. Could be the problem. Let's try to get her. Oh, there it is. See the fuel coming out? See the fuel dripping? Dripping everywhere? Okay, so you can see the fuel on top here. See the fuel? So that float is not rising. That pin ought to come up through that hole in there. So I'm going to take the carburetor off and we're going to see if we can stop that problem. Here we go. All right, so I got the carb removed. Pretty simple to remove. There's a bolt with a nut right here to take off. There's a screw in here that on the back side here that bolted into the motor and you have to disconnect the fuel line here and there's a throttle control here and there's also a line for the low speed there so this that's how you disconnect it so the problem is that the, the needle inside is not floating with the cork coming up so I'm going to take it apart and show you how it's made now so here's a primer. This is the primer button that pumps more gas. And this is the high speed adjustment here. So I'm gonna take these three screws off and show you the inside of the carburetor. All right, I'm going to try to take the top housing off. It comes off, but it's stopped by this high-speed needle valve. So I'm going to have to unscrew this needle valve.
Okay, needle valve comes out. Now we'll be able to take the top cover off. See, that's where the needle valve goes through there. Here is the cork. It floats, it's held in by a, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a, a screw holding a pin that holds the needle valve itself. We're going to take the bottom drain valve off. And there's the, the other side of the needle valve. See it right there? The needle valve, as the cork floats, it seats and holds it. The problem is, the needle valve wasn't coming up through the opening here. It may not have the cork. The cork may have moved. I'm going to take this screw off. See if we, we can get the cork assembly out. There's the screw. I'm going to try to get that holding pin. There's the holding pin. came out. Now I should be able to push the needle valve straight through the bottom. Come up right there. That, that ring is what holds the uh, I do see a lot of a lot of dirt. I'm gonna clean this clean this off. See if that'll make it seat better. And there's our cork. The needle valve doesn't look like it goes through the up into the anyway I'm gonna approach it like I said earlier there's three things that can be stopping it it's not seating well right here which I'm gonna do some cleaning on both sides the float is not good, it's not floating, or this pin should come up through the center right here. And I'm going to check on that to make sure that this pin is not getting hung up inside here. So I'll check on all those three things and come back to you. All right, so I clean the needle valve and the seat up in here with a thousand grit sandpaper. And my, my thought is that I'm gonna, I hooked it up to the fuel line and I'm gonna open the fuel and the fuel should flow into the bowl, rise the cork up, the valve ought to seat and it shouldn't leak. Let's see how this test will work. Uh, the cork the cork rose I think I made that drip by doing what I did yeah it's 
stop dripping. So, if I press on this and make the cork open up, fuel will always just fill up, fill up in the bowl. Yeah, see it coming up all the way to the top. If I let it go, it'll leak. It'll all leak out. And then stop leaking. And it does. So I got a feeling. I'm gonna let it sit for a while. Make sure that it doesn't start streaming again. But I got a feeling that might have it might have fixed it. We'll see. If it doesn't uh, leak in 15 minutes and it's still got fuel in the bowl, then. I'm gonna put the, put it back together and see if it works. All right, so now I put my cover back on. Let's open the fuel and let's see if the needle valve comes up inside the chamber here. Thought it would have floated more than that, but it's not leaking for sure. No leaks. Let's put it back together. See if it runs. got the fuel problem fixed no more leaking fuel but it's stammering and sputtering I think I'm running on one cylinder Satisfied, satisfied I fixed my car problem problem was uh, actually just cleaning it with a valve bottom valve needle valve sits in the seat down here was had some dirt in it and corrosion I sanded it with thousand grit and got that all clean and it's not leaking anymore so that's how you fix a leaky carburetor on a TN26 hope everybody enjoyed the video see y'all next time Hope y'all enjoyed the video here at T Mike's Vintage Oddboards. We're doing it one motor at a time. Please subscribe. I guarantee to provide weekly videos. Au revoir, mes amis, and laissez les bon temps rouler.